10. Hello world, thank you again so much for tuning in to Acting with Chad Rook. This is Chad and in today's video, I'm going to go over my list of the most entertaining real life character portrayals in film. Now, I know that there have been tons of real life character portrayals in the past done by some incredible actors, but for the sake of this list, I had to whittle it down to 10, so I've selected the most entertaining characters. Characters who you just could not stop watching from the beginning of the film to the very end. Now, I would love to get your guys' feedback on what characters you think should make the top 10 list, so if you agree with this list, go ahead, give it a like, and if you don't, please leave a message in the comments as I would love to hear who you think should have made the top 10 list. So, without further ado, here we go with my top 10 most entertaining real life character portrayals in film. Enjoy! Number 10 The Argentinian ship, the General Belgrano and her escorts are pursuing course 273 degrees towards the Argentinian mainland. We are tracking them with our submarine HMS Conqueror. Is this ship a threat? Both these ships are carrying Exocet missiles, Prime Minister. Just yesterday, they launched, then aborted an attack inside the exclusion zone. There is a risk they could try it again. The Belgrano is sailing directly away from the islands. Can it really be regarded as a threat? She's been changing course continually. There's a strong possibility that they'll attempt a pincer movement on our carrier group. I advise that we engage them. Hit the Belgrano as a warning to the others. Send them all back to port. It'll play badly internationally. We'll be seen as aggressors. This will be an escalation, Prime Minister. If there is to be an escalation, it's better that we start it. It is steaming away, Prime Minister. Number nine. Yes, he, he, he asked me about Rosenthal if I'd seen him lately, and I said, not in a while. That's all. That's, yes, that's all. Of course. Yes. I swear to God. Yes. As soon as possible. Thank you, Roy. I want to talk to you. Yeah. All right. Oh, guess everyone has a soft spot, right? Guess so. Hey, hey, what the fuck's going on? He changed his mind. No, 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 no. Look, Rosenthal's my best friend. I would, I would never say anything. Not my problem. No, 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 God, 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 please, no! God, please, God, please! What, are you praying? God, please, please! You really believe that? You think God will come down and save you? <laughs> All right, I'll give you some time. Pray to God. Tell him to come down and stop me. Go ahead. Our father. Chance. 
think God's busy. Number eight. What's this? Hmm? Number 11 in Italy. The song doesn't work, that's the problem. The record's coked out M.O.R. The problem is you have never understood me and what I have to go through. And you know what? I should have sacked you when you left me. I am glad I left you. It means I can maintain some objectivity on your self-indulgent, myopic little world. Get in the studio and make some music or don't. I don't care. Well, you will when your money runs out. Do your worst. In fact, take me to court. You signed contracts with me years ago, so I'll still be collecting my 20% long after you've killed yourself. Number seven. Right, you make sure that I have all of this straight. Basically, you have no experience, no college degree, no resume, no work history whatsoever, in fact, and now you would like to be a lawyer, right? N no, see, I was, um, I'm sorry, but when I read the ad, it said that you were looking for a secretary. Okay. Well, you need to learn how to type. You'll need computer skills. Most of our secretaries have college degrees. In fact, most of them have specialized in law. I don't mean to sound harsh, but frankly, it's a little insulting. I see you're from Daytona Beach, and all of that looks great. It must be wonderful, but can I tell you something? Uh, when the beach party is over, you don't get to say, you know what, I think now I'd like to have what everybody else has worked their entire life for. It doesn't work that way. Fuck you, man. Yeah, fuck you! You don't fucking know me! Okay, great, that's great. See, now I'm so sorry I didn't hire you before. Leslie, could you please escort Miss... I don't even know her name because, of course, she doesn't have a resume out. You don't need a fucking escort, you piece of shit! What, you think I'm a fucking retard? Take your fucking job and fucking shove it! Fuck you, Leslie! Number six. There's nothing heroic in going down fighting if it can be avoided. Nothing even remotely patriotic in death or glory if the odds are firmly on the former. Nothing inglorious in trying to shorten a war that we are clearly losing. Losing! Europe is still... Europe is lost. And before our forces are wiped out completely, now is the time to negotiate in order to obtain the best conditions possible. Hitler will not insist on outrageous terms. He will know his own weaknesses. He will be reasonable. When will the lesson be learned? When will the lesson be learned? How many more dictators must be wooed, appeased, good God, given him mixed privileges, before we learn? You cannot reason with a tiger when your head is in its mouth! Number five. Would you do something with me, Lloyd? It's an exercise I like to do sometimes. We'll just take a minute and think about all the people who loved us into being. I, I can't do that. They will come to you. Just one minute of silence.
Thank you for doing that with me. I feel so much better. Number four. Hey, Jack. Maggie. You all red? I think I'll go bend my elbow while you boys bend your ears. Oh, Barry Jackson. It's not a two of a kind night, kid. It's grim. I'll be at the bar. You did to Russo. That was a disgrace, Mickey. The man rode on a train out from Chicago to sit with you in good faith. I don't get you. Uh, you have the world by the ass out here. You got all the, the prestige, the purse, the pussy any man could ask for. And you go and you poke Chicago in the eye. Uh, what? More. I want more, Jack. You want to weep over Tommy Russo? Fine. We can drink to Tommy. He was the guy who died on the railroad, and I'm sorry. He won't be out here when I drive in the Golden Spike. But what happened to Tommy? It's nothing. That was a murder. It was progress. I am progress. You know what kills me? Is you think you're something new. I've seen guys like you before. The Mojave is filled with them. Right, boys that want to shoot their way to the top of the class. You think I lack vision? It's the other way around. Matter of fact, I'm having a vision right now. You are going to wake up one morning with your best part stuffed into your mouth. I'm sorry, did you say something? I was kidding. I heard you, Jack. You're a funny guy. And I'm not gonna carry water for you anymore. You dumb cock. You're old. You're slow. I've outgrown you. you. Listen to me. I might be getting old. I might be getting slow. But I got friends in Chicago that are nigh. This isn't Chicago. This is the wild fucking West. And I've been reading about it. You heard of Manifest Destiny? That's when you take what you can when you can. The Greasers took it from the Redskins and we took it from them. And I'm gonna take it all from you, Jack. And not just because I can. Because this is my destiny. Los Angeles is my fucking destiny, you motherfucker. Number three. You get a drink, Rog? Yeah, there's a nice little pub down the road, actually. Can I come? Oh, just no, an exclusive thing. Of course not. Invite oh. only. Yeah, it's kind of you. Okay. Before you leave. Can I have a second? Yeah. What's up? I've got it. Got what? AIDS. I wanted you to hear it from me. Fred, I'm so sorry. Brian, stop. Don't. But right now, it's between us. All right, just us. So please, if any of you fuss about it or frown about it, or worst of all, if you bore me with your sympathy, that's just seconds wasted. Seconds that could be used making music, which is all I want to do with the time I have left. I don't have time to be their victim, their AIDS poster boy, their cautionary tale. No, I decide who I am. I'm going to be what I was born to be. A performer who gives the people what they want. Touch the heavens. Freddie fucking Mercury. You're a legend, Fred. You're bloody right I am. We're all legends. But you're right, I am a legend. <laughs> now you give me a chance to get my bitchy little vocal cords in order. And we'll go and punch a hole through the roof of that stadium. Actually, Wembley doesn't have a roof. <laughs> all right. No, he's right, doesn't. 
Then we'll punch a hole in the sky. Number two. So the onion is ready, but I do not need to get the rupees. Bonjour. Bonjour, madame. <clears throat> madame, uh, s'il vous plaît, laissez-moi. You must hold the knife first of all, like this. Reese, see, see, mm. leave the thumb here, and là, the mm. hand and the knife are one. Eh? Mm. And the hand, the other hand, you must protect it. Mm. Yeah, you must cut only the onion, mm. yes? Not me. <laughs> yes. And then you put your thumb here, and the other fingers here. Oui. Competitive, don't you think? Well, you should have seen the way those men looked at me. <laughs> As if I were some frivolous housewife just looking for a way to kill time. Well. <laughs> what, what, where are you going? Well, I'm uh, not here. You hungry? No. Good. Number one. So, um, guys, uh, I, I hate to bring this up at a, at a social dinner, but there's this detective in Florida that keeps calling us about Kelly and asking questions, and uh, he, he, he just won't leave it alone, and I have to handle it. Then handle it. Handle it? You and I got to have a little sit down here. What the fuck did you marinate this steak in? Because it's out of this world. You're killing me with no, it. It's no, out of no. It's a family secret. Hmm? Come on. <laughs> oh, that is one of the best goddamn steaks I ever had in my life. Ever. I got a knife over here. <laughs> oh, come on, come on. What's the, what's the, what's the, fam what's the family secret recipe? It's, gr it's ground garlic and a little bit of soy. That's it? Yeah, that's it. That's it. I thought it was a family secret. It's a recipe. No. No. You said to me, this is a family secret, and you gave it up to me, boom. Just fucking like that. Don't look to John, because he's not going to fucking help you. You spill the secret family recipe today, Maybe you fucking spill about me tomorrow. Is that something? Maybe that's a possibility. Listen, I was just saying. You were just saying. Just saying gets people sent to Allenwood. Just saying. Got me a nine year stretch in Leavenworth and Alcatraz. You understand? So, just saying. Could get you buried real fucking quick. <laughs> 